Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how a multi-port valve works. This is a valve on top of a sand filter. You can also get them on cartridge filters, and very rarely these days, but also dynamaceous earth filters. And they are everywhere, all over the world, and really popular. They're an absolutely great design. There's just three pipes coming in and out. Uh, on this side at the top, you see there's a clear part here, so you can see the water coming out. Sometimes there's a little bulb, a little screw-in glass. Whenever you see that, that's the backwash line, um, particularly on a sand filter. So when you're backwashing the filter, washing the sand, um, you can see the color of the water coming out. On the uh, lower side here on the valve is your return line, and that um, is going back in this case to a saltwater chlorinator and then back to the swimming pool. And on this side, the upper, the higher pipe, that's one coming from the pump. So that's the water coming in. Now, there's six different positions on these valves, and I'm just going to talk you through what the six different things are. To start off with, we have the filter position, and uh, obviously, that's for filtration. So what happens here, what the valve does, the water comes in from your skimmer box into your pump, it goes into the filter valve, and then it goes top of the, there's a disperser at the top here. So the water comes into that disperser, it spreads out over the top of the sand in a sand filter, this is about two thirds full of sand, so probably up to about here. And the water then goes through the sand. There's little finger strainers in the bottom. The water goes through there. It's filtered by the sand, goes back up through a central pipe into the valve, and then back out through the coronator and to the return. So that's the filter position. Uh, I won't repeat everything. You can watch it again if you need to hear that again. The important one for cleaning a sand filter, you notice when I'm pressing that valve down, I'm pressing it all the way down that's because in order to turn there's a little pivot here and there's a cam on the back of this handle so that when you press it down it actually lifts can you see that going up and down it lifts the plate if you want to see the inside have a look at my video on how to service one of these valves i'll pull one apart service it and show you all the inside but most important don't just pull it up to the minimum but pull it right up and then turn it around and the reason for that is that there's a big spider gasket on the bottom and a big plate that this um, sits down on and if you drag it or if there's sand or stones there you'll actually tear and damage the gasket and pull it out of place so it's always good to lift that fully up if it's super duper tight then have a look at my video of how to service this or have someone come out and give it a service so backwash what it does it washes the sand so the sand's caught all of the um, dirt and dust uh, and it's sitting on top of the sand and through the sand. We put it onto backwash, and that reverses the flow through the sand. So now the water's coming in um, from the pump through the valve here. Now this time it goes down through that centre pipe to the bottom to the finger strainers, and it washes and lifts all the sand, and all of the dirt comes out, and the water comes up not back to the pool because it's all the dirt that's been trapped. It comes out the waistline and goes into the drain and out to waste and you can watch it um, here in this case we've got a little clear piece of pipe or sometimes as I said there's a little glass bowl or something like that um, or you can walk to the end of the pipe sometimes and have a look at how it is but it does take up to three minutes or something like that to give it a good backwash so you backwash it until it runs clear then when the water is running clear you turn the water off again always have the pump not running when you're turning the valve you turn this around to rinse and what rinse does, it puts the water back through the filter in the normal direction. So the sand all settles and it goes back in its normal direction. But there's always a bit of dirt um, and dust associated with that when it first goes back. So the water comes in from the pump back in the normal direction through the filter. But then when it comes up um, again to the valve, it goes out to waste again. So you just run it there for about 20 seconds and that will just get that little shot of dirt out. Motor off again, depress the valve, turn it round back to filter and you're done that's how the backwash cycle works and now you've got some extra things on here uh, rinse you understand about fills you understand about backwash down here you understand about this guy here recirculate that actually recirculates the the water the pool water without it going through the filter at all so the water will come your skimmer into your pump into your valve and then back to your chlorinator and um, back to the pool so recirculate, uh, you can use if you're maybe putting some chemicals in that you don't want into your filter. 
or you're wanting a higher pressure return for some reason because the water will obviously flow a bit faster and harder if it's not going through the sand but that's what recirculate does it enables you to recirculate the water without filtering it over the top here is waste now that one's very important if the pool's a little bit too full then you can put it on to waste turn the pump on and it'll pump some water out it'll just simply in from the skimmer into the backwash valve and out the waste line it's gone pumping it out that's very important you've got a, a vacuum to waste um, sand filters won't catch all the dirt if it's a lot of dirt and it's maybe been returned from a green pool or something like that it's very fine then you might want to vacuum the pool to waste so rather than asking the filter to catch all the fines and all the dirt it just pumps it straight out to the waste and that's what the waste is for the remaining one is closed geschlossen we've got the german on here as well um, closed and that simply doesn't let water flow through from the pump it blocks the whole thing off that can be good if you've got a pump and filter that's below the level of the swimming pool and maybe you want to clean your lint basket out by putting that onto closed it'll stop water from flowing backwards and coming that way sometimes you'll have a, a return valve this pump and filter is slightly above water level so it's not needed but if it's below water level hopefully the um, pool man's put a, a, a valve in so you can close it off so that you don't lose a heap of water when you take the lid off and, and clean that basket again i've got a, a video on how to clean a limpot basket have a look right there and i'll put a link up to show you where to go to that one so that's it how to use a multi-port valve uh, nice and simple and they are really common and they're a great system so again see also end screens are up now have a look at my video of how to actually um, pull one of these apart and service it so you can see the o-rings are inside and how it all works and how to give it a clean um, and also there'll be other pool videos have a look through the pool video playlist and hopefully it'll help you out